Hello, in this video, I will talk about how to use logic analyzer in Keel. Open Keel. Close it and we will create a new microvision project. And uh, again, we will create it at desktop. First, we will create a folder so that all the files can be placed at the same uh, at the same place. And then we will select for the microcontroller, and we will choose according to our requirement. Like for this one, we are uh, making our project on eight nine C five one, and then okay, and then yes. Now we will add uh, a new source file and then first we will add this source file as test.asm and now we will add this uh, uh, source file to our current project all this procedure has been done in uh, some of introductory videos so for detailed version you can uh, go through those videos okay and now again uh, options for target one and then for output we are creating the hex file and we are providing the frequency in megahertz and then oh. now we can easily write uh, our program and we are uh, starting our program from org008 as we are uh, trying to look for uh, uh, the use of the logic analyzer here uh, so we will uh, uh, see the functioning of logic analyzer in kill by tog uh, by toggling a particular pin so we will uh, toggle a pin for say p2.0 again and again and we will check how to see the behavior of uh, this pin in the logic analyzer so cpl uh, uh, p2.0 it will complement the current state of the pin 2.0 and then we will jump again at again and and so there is no need to write a delay program for it because we are not specific to any particular amount of delay uh, as uh, we our aim is to just demonstrate uh, the use of uh, logic analyzer in keel so that's it our program and now we will uh, debug it we will rebuild our target it has been built zero error and three warning and then debugging okay <coughs> in the top panel here is the logic analyzer window and I think uh, we can find it in peripherals no no need to go there from here we will find it a uh, logic analyzer and we will click on a new window will pop up pop up and now in this window we have to set up uh, the signals uh, which we want to keep track so, so set up and then click on this icon and then just type p2.0 the same pin number which we want to uh, <coughs> observe we can also change the color of the uh, this waveform that will be generated from here so we are uh, the graph will be displayed in green format and then close okay now we will run our program uh, uh, because the generating frequency we have not provided any specific delay so pin 2.0 is uh, fluctuating very fast so we will add, uh, we will zoom it out for uh, we have to zoom in for visualizing the waveform okay so here is the waveform and we can uh, check it uh, uh, the time duration between two transition we can uh, directly observe we will stop it and we'll go to the logic analyzer window and suppose we want to measure the time distance between two transitions so we'll click first on this and then when we'll go to the next window all the details about the waveform will be displayed here like what is the delta amount of time and what is the corresponding uh, frequency to it so it is uh, taking 3.2 microsecond and correspondingly it is generating of 30 kilohertz frequency 
here now the next question come can we uh, analyze more than one signal here so it's better to uh, it's better try directly try it so we will uh, stop the debugging session and then we will also complement again the same pin a different pin like p2.1 so now these two pin are toggling continuously so we will observe uh, the same uh, square wave at both the pins and we will try to uh, observe the waveforms in logic analyzer now we will run it and then debugging then okay and logic analyzer we have to add the another pin as well so p2 now we will add p2.1 and then okay so this p2.1 we can check uh, we can change the color of uh, because both of them are in green so we will take the another color its uh, display type is bit so we will take uh, suppose red color for it and then run so from here we can check the above graph is for p2.0 and the below one is for p2.1 so similarly we can uh, add more and more signal and uh, we can analyze all the uh, logic uh, through the keel itself and similarly to the last one we can also check the time instance between between uh, two transitions so like from here and to here we want to observe the time so we can easily verify it so now it's 4.33 microsecond and it is pretty obvious because we are increasing uh, the one instruction so the time has been increased by 1.085 microsecond as the machine cycle at 11.0592 megahertz it comes out to be 1.05 microsecond and similarly there is a corresponding decrease in the uh, frequency that is being generated it now comes out to 230 kilohertz so that's it for this video thank you